NGRX is the popular state management pattern called Redux, tailored to Angular using standard Angular concepts and techniques. As an Angular developer, you know Angular. Let's focus then on walking through the Redux pattern to better understand what NGRX is. The Redux pattern helps us manage our application state by providing a one-way data flow throughout the application. Let's start with the view. In this example, we have a checkbox at the bottom of our view that the user can select to include the product code in the display. We could define a local property in the component to track this flag. But then if the user navigates away, and later navigates back, we lose their selection. Let's see how the Redux pattern can help us. When the user clicks on the checkbox, the view uses event binding to notify the component of the user event. The component then creates an action representing that event. The component dispatches this action to a dispatcher function called a reducer. The reducer uses the action and the current application state from the NGRX store to define new state and updates the store with that state. This store is a single, in-memory, client-side state container. It only stores our application state during execution of the application. Using this pattern, our state is immutable, which basically means it is never modified. Instead, the reducer creates new state from the existing state in the defined action, making state changes much more explicit. Any component subscribes to the store using a selector to get notified of specific state changes. Think of a selector like a stored procedure for our application store. It knows how to locate and return data from the store. When new state is replaced in the store, the component is notified of that new state and bound values in the view are updated. In this case, the view then displays the product codes. If the user navigates away from the product list view and later navigates back, the component resubscribes, immediately obtaining the state from the store, and the view is updated with the retained user's selection. With NGRX, for any bit of state that we retain beyond the life of a single component or provide to other components, we dispatch an action to add that data to our store so we can better manage it. Our components subscribe through a selector to watch for any changes to that stored data. This then defines our one-way data flow. Our example here is a simple one. We can use this pattern for more complex interactions, such as multiple component communication, loading data from a backend server, and create update and delete operations. So, NGRX is a framework for building reactive applications in Angular. NGRX provides state management, isolation of side effects, and much more. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.